dear viewers in this lecture i'm just going to show that how will analysis a laterally and axially loaded file by using tetla text uh, tetla text so from here first of all we have to uh, open that software and after that you have to select the code i have used that code and from here you have to uh, click new and from here i'll just click uh, foundation and from here pile analysis and uh, from here the pile analysis after that click here and from here from here uh, first of all you have to select which types of pile you are going to design that is a uh, drilled pile or driven pile right so uh, we are going to use driven pile then which types of concrete temporary steel so i'm using concrete and here the uh, materials diameter and materials properties I mean, sorry, um, pile properties. So here, the which types of pile rectangle or circular. So it's circular. And after that, uh, diameter of pile, I'm considering first time 10. And length of the pile, I'm considering 12, 12 feet. And from here, uh, select your compressive extent, or you can write that as per your uh, materials properties. So after that, click OK. And when it's OK, after that, you have to provide the soil properties. Here, the stratum details. So I'm, click, I'm clicking here. Uh, stratum details uh, for that your, this is the first value okay this is the first value so i can click here to edit on the first data so here uh, it's saying um, th thickness of stratum 15 so i'm considering thickness of stratum that is uh, 5 or that is yeah that is considered 6 and our uh, foundation i mean our pile depth is 12 feet so this 6 and as uh, this is the first value from that upper upper level to uh, that upper level to six feet that's why they have no in bearing the in bearing zero and service unit site friction consider that is one keep or anything as per your uh, design criteria or as per your uh, soil properties so click okay so from that point to that point now again add another so this is also here i'm just cancelling so here if you click here edit obviously you have to select which types of soil or rock you are using so i am considering that uh, for first layer i am considering this is cohesive soil this is cohesive soil and for second layer i am considering uh, this is cohesionless soil i mean uh, the sandy soil like that so this is that is uh, six feet i am considering this is this is eight feet and uh, service unit in the bearing that is uh, now we need in bearing i'm considering in paint 1.5 and the site friction i'm considering now 0 0.7 like that so you have to provide actually the data from your soil report so i'm clicking ok now see here is our um, second layer data and here is our first layer data and if you need to add more layer here if you need to add more layer then you can add that there's no problem so when it's okay now simply click okay after that we have to go for uh, lateral details so i'll just go and before that from here design option select your design option okay because um i will suggest you first time first time um provide your that uh, design details because uh, you will see every uh, value here i mean that uh, review of result instantly that's why it's okay to use first time so uh, at which method you want to use asd or lrm pin okay that means a wsd or usd working stress and uh, allowable stress design or uh, limited limited uh, stress design like that so a uh, soil value which types of soil service or ultimate so this is for service obviously we know that for foundation we always use service load and here lateral critical depth what is the lateral critical depth okay proportion of pile uh, diameter you can use here and general soil types within lateral critical depth okay at lateral click critical depth for the lateral critical depth so from here you have to consider what is the lateral critical depth and uh, for that what is the soil property so i am using cohesive soil obviously uh, within 4.5 right and uh, fixity of file head okay lateral pile details so here free or fixed okay so is yes, lateral pile is lateral uh, 
fix it your pile head what is the pile head is free or not so i'm consider that it is fixed okay with pile gap so laterally lateral deflection option so this is the allowable lateral deflection that is one inch okay so one inch is allowable and uh, this is okay and include ibc lateral deflection check obviously we will include that check so i'll just click okay so when it's done now i'll just go lateral uh, lateral details so here uh, adjustment factor of soil clip this is uh, 0, 0 0.16 and stratum 1 okay there's a unconfined compression uh, comp uh, compression strength so what is that i'm considering this is 100 and 100 psf stratum 1 and for stratum 2 and if you need to change that or if you have different data then you can add here as per your soil report so i'm clicking ok and after that finally i'll just go for uh, that value loading data so how uh, what is the axially load i'm considering our axially load is uh, 20 and here axially load tension if you have any tension force on that on it then you have to add here because uh, every time pile uh, pile will not act here as a compression uh, load because uh, sometimes it's have the uh, tension load also after analyzing our pile founder and pile cap will get that data and uh, here eccentricity eccentricity applied it load if you have any eccentricity or moment if they have any moment on pile then also you can add here i'm not uh, considering any moment so actually um, sorry lateral load i'm considering they have uh, four keep four keeps or i'm considering their three keep lateral load so i'm clicking ok again ok so lateral details when it's done then also it's ok then click ok now lateral analysis invalid for given pile properties see output ok uh, here they have some issue ok and uh, we are seeing that for axial load this is ok and again i'll just go here for design and uh, if we consider compressive then see what happened then lateral details again okay uh, here everything is okay i'm not changing anything so this is okay now see now everything is okay right see in this way just you have to change that data or you have to change something that what we are doing and where actually when you have a good knowledge in foundation then it's nothing to you so in this way uh, we have analysis or actually loaded pile and simply we kill and here we can see that we have provided three keep lateral but uh, it's have capacity 4.2 and also its deflection is 0 0.08 only right 0 0.08 only and the maximum capacity it's a maximum capacity of axially loaded for 27.5 right so i'll just can simply click finish and it's done for laterally loaded pile it's up done so uh, we have uh, found out that the capacity and lateral capacity of our pile so in this way we are able to uh, analysis our pile easily so thank you thank you very much yes to stay connected till next video